How did you and the senior team become involved in the concept of Pride Cup? Oh, look, over pre-season, um, Sam Hills, my assistant, and myself, we, we had a number of chats and yeah, we decided to throw a bit of weight behind Jason's initiative that, from last year and just thought the weighted numbers would, would help the cause. So, um, yeah, we spoke to Jason and obviously spoke to the committee at the football club and everybody was supportive and away it happened and away it went. So, yeah, it was good. What has been part of the first Pro Cup meant to the Yarragan Seniors football team? Oh, look at part of history. Um, it was a great day. We had great numbers. We, we won on the field, which is important. And um, I think it was a bit of media exposure and it looks like we, yeah, we've made a bit of an impression. So... Um, I think everyone's very happy to be a part of it. It's great. Were your hopes and expectations of the Cup realised? Oh, that's a good question. I think um, time will tell. I think my gut feeling is yes. Um, it was a successful day. And, um, you know, just some of the feedback that we've received from not just in the Yarra Valley, but the wider football circles and the sporting circles around Australia and even overseas, it's, um, yeah, it's been quite overwhelming. And I think now that some of the AFL clubs are looking at maybe following suit, I, I, yes, I think our, um, our goals may be realised. As a coach, how would you like to see the Pride Cup evolve? Oh, look, I think, um, I think it should be an annual event and I'd be disappointed if it wasn't. So I think, you know, we, we've obviously had the inaugural one just recently and if we can do it again next year and get better numbers and um, more support and more exposure, I think that's how I'd like to see it evolve. And maybe, you know, at AFL level as well, it would be fantastic. How can clubs like yours ensure an appropriate level of conduct and acceptance is maintained by its players and supporters? Well, hopefully what we've put out there uh, as a football netball club in hosting the, the first Pride Cup... Um, we start back and we can probably go back to our, our code of conduct, which all our footballers and netballers and our members all sign off on. As part of our code of conduct, we bring in discriminations of all type, uh, whether it be sexual or racial or religious discrimination. None of this is accepted and everybody is welcome here at Yarra Glen. Um, so I think if people could jump on our website, have a look at our code of conduct and the things we've put into place, uh, I think they'll find it, they could take it to their club quite easily. We've also put out there a uh, Club Confident, which is uh, a support network or a support person for anybody within the club or within the club community you can go to to talk about any issues they have, um, whether you know whether it might, it might be drugs related or alcohol related or violence or, or whatever. Uh, it's a confident where, where somebody can go and talk to, to this person knowing that they're talking in trust and be directed to the right area. What plans do the Yarra Glen Football and Netball Club have to make next year's Pride Cup bigger and brighter? Well, hopefully next year, 2015, we will be definitely holding another uh, Pride Cup. And within the, uh, the Pride Cup round, um, I believe there is very strong whispers around the AFL of a couple of AFL clubs taking on board um, St Kilda and possibly Essendon or Carlton. And none of it's been confirmed yet, but that would be a great lead-up to local suburban football and country football to be all taken on as a pride round. Or if, even if it's just one club in each competition, whether we go back to the Eastern Football League or we go over to the Essendon Football League or we go to the Yarra Rangers Football Junior Football League, if we can just get each club from one of those competitions holding a Pride Cup, that'll just, you know, that'll be amazing. Uh, I think if another, another club um, wanted to promote uh, acceptance, whether it's a club at, at our level or an AFL, uh, AFL club here at Jarrah Glen, and what we've sort of, and we've learnt a lot through this, this process over these past two years. It hasn't been a six weeks process leading up saying, bang, we'll have a proud run. It's been two years of hard work and a lot of preparation going into it. The AFL's been super getting on board. but. You know, they can contact us through our emails, they can give us a call here at the club and we can let them know what we did to uh, get our Pride round off the, off the ground to, to get it going. I know just two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I was in town at a, um, at a soft opening of a rest restaurant up at South Bank and it was um, a friend of mine introduced me, that's, you know, that's Finn Erickson, President of Yarra Glen. Straight away, Pride Cup. Knew that we had the Pride Cup. This is the, uh, all the goodwill we're getting out of it. And, and don't get me wrong, we're not doing it here for our own self-gratitude or to make Yarra Glen something it's not. We, the main message we're putting out there is it's okay.
to come out and play sport for everybody. I personally didn't break through them, but having talks with Jason and with David, I believe they were hugely supportive from day one, uh, to the point where the AFL, um, Mark Evans, they got on board, they hosted a lunch in here on our Pride Cup day, which was, you know, we had 80 people in there for a sit-down lunch, and we had people from all different groups uh, from here. We, we, had, we, had, we had Globe in here, we had the Victorian Di uh, Discrimination Commission in here, we had the uh, Pride March, um, members in here. There was there was groups from everywhere who came, who were very important groups to help us get the message out there. Because as a small country club, we can't get the message out to 15,000, 20,000 Australians. But you know, we can start, and everything has to start from somewhere. And you know, hopefully, when we go back in history books in 2050, and people are talking, what was this Pride Round about? Why? Why is it? It's just just it's just a normal part of life. It had to start somewhere, you know, and it started back here at Yarra Glen because one, we had a footballer, we have a footballer who had the courage to come out and say, hey, boys, I'm gay, but I love playing football. And these are the boys he's played football with for 10 years. He played his junior football here. You know, to, to maybe have the, the backlash of it takes a lot of courage to come out to, to say that to your mates and, or to your peers and to, to your broader community. And Jason's done that, you know, and held himself in a remarkable way. The past two years have seen many changes in the sport which you love, with your son Jason proudly at the helm of most of them. For this first Pride Cup, what were your expectations and were they met? Um, well, my expectations were that the community would get, get involved, we get a lot of support from both the gay community and the straight community, that come along to the game and, and, and show that um, diversity and inclusion is an important thing. And uh, it was fantastic, we had a, a terrific roll up. Um, the mood and manner of the luncheon that we had beforehand that the AFL sponsored was fantastic. A lot of positive things were coming out of it. And um, yeah, we really think we, we made a big impression on the AFL in particular, which was one of the target audiences for the, for the Pride Cup. What changes would you like to see next? Um, well, we would like to see an organisation like the AFL actually get out there and say something positive um, in terms of running a Pride Cup game or, or a round or similar. Um, they've certainly done a lot with the uh, Say No to Homophobia campaign and, and my son Jason sort of started that way back in 2012 and that's been really positive. So, I mean, I think things are going well. Uh, we'd just like to see the momentum continue. I uh, would like to see them do more. Um, as I said, I think uh, a Pride game or a Pride round would be a, a great idea. I think the, um, the work that the AFL have done in terms of racial discrimination has been incredibly powerful. Um, they've got a very strong brand and you know, if they get behind a message, people tend to listen and uh, it would be really good if they could do that. Are you planning bigger and better celebrations for next year's Pride? Uh, well, we're planning bigger ones. Uh, we hope they come off. It would be pretty hard to top uh, this year's event. Being the first, obviously, there's a lot of interest. Um, to get more interest in the second event is going to be a challenge, but uh, we had a lot of support from the Yarra Rangers Council and, in fact, they're, uh, they have a diversity and inclusions manager and she's already contacted us and wants to start now and preparing for next year, so we're looking forward to that.